What is going on guys and girls welcome back to Imperator Rome and our current dictator Marcus Valerius Corvinus and uh, I've decided that I'm going to simply change our laws right now. Uh, I know he's an ambitious character but I think he's ruled long enough so that we can go back to well actually now here's the thing this reduces the populist faction influence this is something we don't want election this is something I would want but we can't. The populace can't do this. Interesting. Is there something that helps with populist uh, influence? Where do we gain influence? So, because, I mean, it makes, it would make sense to go for this law, in my opinion. That would be reinstating the Republic. But, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we could at least go for this. Safeguard the Republic in times of desperate need. I think we'll go with this. Um, sure. So, it, yeah. This backfired disastrously with Caesar, but this doesn't ha hasn't actually happened yet. So, yeah, this hopefully helps. And we actually have a lot of support for our faction. Holy balls. And so, when is the next election? going to be eight years I think that's fine so we actually have a little bit more time left yeah election every 10 years that's that seems fine but it's no longer for life I think that's um, that's definitely a good I a good way a good yeah compromise so to speak and also I want to go for the invention of paymasters here because that will reduce our army maintenance cost and I think maybe maybe supply limit wouldn't be bad either just because we take so much attrition. You're not fine. We'll go for that too. And then Fort Defense I don't think we need. Although we could have been helpful. Uh, some time ago. But right now we don't need it. Okay. Then we'll go to... We'll go up here. They're going to be besieging our territory. 11,000 men. Wait. You're actually at war. With someone else. Wow. You're at war with many nations. Rome... Oh, okay, well, those are our vassals. Dindaria and Surya. Maybe you should defend your home instead of attack me. That probably would be a good idea. Now, the leader of the military faction, Marcia Philippus, offers us the support of a small portion of his cater in return for the promise of a favor. We should not underestimate the importance... Okay. To back our diplomatic actions... Hmm, do we need their support? That's the question. I don't think we do, honestly. You have almost no no support. I don't think so. Yeah, kind offer, but we don't need it. Okay, we'll go to Lysus. And hope that we're not... Oh, wow, look at this. They're actually being besieged right now. I would hate if... Oh, we lost our... Uh... Did we lose someone? Someone's position? No. Okay. We can call for new omen though. I think discipline might be useful here. Okay. And we should probably help out here in this battle. Civic advance. Oh, too late. Alright, well we tried. But there are reinforcements coming. Well, if they are coming. It looks like they want to let us... Nope, they're coming, actually. They are actually supporting us. Very good. And that's actually very, very good. Because we're going to be the ones uh, to lead. We were the first to arrive. And so... We get to besiege the province. That's awesome. Okay. So they can't steal it from us. That's the plan. Uh, well, we're actually taking heavy amounts of attrition. Okay, see, Sapo has finally been won. Let's uh, go ahead and retake. Oh, we can't. Oh, well, that's that's annoying. Well, let's just go to that province and besiege it. Why not? Okay, they are helping us in the siege. Okay, we're still making money, so it's all good. I wonder if the smaller army... 
can move. Yeah, interestingly, we can move here. That's weird. Yeah, now I'm stuck. No, I can move here too. That's interesting. Whatever, we're gonna only take attrition with one army. The rest can recover. We'll be retaking our provinces soon as well. But we'll be sieging these first. Okay, so one of the enemies has already been taken. So it's just this one now. Uh, that's kind of annoying. We're gonna take... We're gonna basically get nothing out of this war, I feel like. A uh, bit of a waste of money and resources. A daughter has been born. Well, we want a son. But anyway, Scotra has fallen. Let's move here. Take this last province too. Let's unsiege this. Okay, we've been victorious. We'll be taking this over. All right, so they've already made peace. So all we're gonna get is these two provinces. That's really, really terrible. That's all I get. I can't even got, get Dardania. Uh, I guess, well, hold on. I think we can as soon as we occupy. There you go. Yeah, all right. Sue for peace. We'll be taking two entire provinces. Holy frick, that's so much. But yeah, I'll be taking it anyways. Release nations, become a subject. No, we'll just take everything. Thanks. And uh, I think we'll banish those of class. Sure. And... Oh, we need a new governor. Okay, Gaius Junius. You know what? Sure. 20 years young. We'll appoint you because this is not an entirely large province. You basically have one province to, to govern. I think that's fine. This is literally all you have under your control. Province of Dardania. Uh, it's one city. I think that's fine. Okay, so... Unit reorganization, reinforcement speed, army morale recovery. Okay. I could do this, but I'm not going to be doing this right now. Uh, we probably want to go to war with some other nation. Do I have a Kaz's Belly on Norcia? Nope. Do I have one on you? Yes, take Dindaria. So, Detonia and... Who is this? Armistia. So this would be the province we take. Yeah, I think we might as well just declare the war. The Tony, I don't even know who that is. This is you. This is... Okay, I think that's someone we can handle. We'll be, we'll be taking the lands. And you will march in there immediately. You can march over here. In fact... We'll probably reorganize you. Let you recover quickly. Okay. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. Movement speed is reduced. Reinforcement speed is increased. We'll maybe do this for another month. We're being defeated here. Actually, we won that battle. That's actually kind of incredible. Just due to our morale. I'll decline your offer. We'll be reorganizing this army. Probably should be reorganizing this one as well. So let's move away. Get the extra morale recovery. And... Olives can be traded away, sure. So we'll be replenishing our mercenaries here quickly. I actually like this feature. It does cost a little bit more money. What are you even doing? Hmm. Seems... Looks strange. But okay, I think this is fine. Yeah, as we are taking attrition now, we can stop. And we'll move you over here. In fact, we can probably move straight to the capital. No reason to wait. 
Okay. Cradle of civilization. The Creek Pulleys spawned an accident of art, philosophy, and culture which shaped the development of Rome since the early days of our existence. Now with our hegemony stretching into the very heartlands of their past oppressors, the disparate city-states of Greece cry out for an end to tyranny. It is our right, nay, our duty, to liberate the downthrown people of the Greek peninsula, bringing them under the fair rule of Roman law. Oh wow, we gain claims on every city in Greece. Yeah, uh, I still need to conquer Macedon, but uh, thanks, I guess. What's your brother do? He still is super loyal. Man, I wish he would ever rebel. Because I spent quite some resources. Alright, anyway. How many men can you grow to? I'm uncertain. But are you guys in, in another war? Definitely. Okay. Good. But this time, I won't, don't want my lands to be taken away. The battle-hardened soldier serving under Lucius Julius Lebo have performed mighty acts of valor. Lucius, in act of benevolence, has requested permission to institute a particular form of service reward unique to his army. He would take great offense at being denied dishonor, but we might wish to be more careful of allowing him too much autonomy. Lucius Julius Lebo might become more ambitious. Hmm... General of the Third Legion. You know what? This is fine. Extra discipline. But I'm actually using mercenaries predominantly right now, so... Whatever, we'll be starting to besiege these provinces. As we reorganize. Oh, it actually stops immediately. Interesting. I guess you can't reorganize in enemy territory? Possibly. Oh, and did we... Oh, yeah, we annexed these lands. Did we get an extra army? No. We did not get an extra army after annexing this nation. Okay, let me check you out right now. Oh, our opinion is very high. Let's start the integration. Yes. And can I start integration with you as well? Sure, we can. And then what about you? I'll start integrating all of you guys. Very nice. Awesome. That's that's cool because that will just look so much nicer once all of these provinces are under direct control. Very, very good. So. Mm hmm. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Uh, have we taken this now? Actually, can't tell whether the province is. Oh, wait, it's not. No, there is a pop here. It's hard to say whether or not this is under our control. I can't actually say. Actually, it might have been already. Because of their fortress here. Okay, yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely under our control. For sure. It's just weird that it doesn't show. Right? Like, it should have shown like this. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Who knows why that might be. Okay, so no one's actually attacking us. And our ports are being blocaded by pirates. Ah, how I love those pirates. Uh, tree aim should probably... Ah, uh, yeah, we'll pay maintenance and we'll deal with these pirates. Don't need our ports to be located. Really not that useful. Okay, Sevastum fell. Let's take the enemy capital. I don't really know what's going on here. But... The capital... Splovnon? I'm confused. Why can I not take this?
Is this not colonized? Yeah, I think that might actually be the case. That is not colonized. That explains. Alright, yeah, so that so there are people here. Is that the same for these provinces? Yes, okay, I see. So ah uh, okay, so this is a province we would need to have to colonize first in order to actually get anything. Wow, okay, well that's actually really difficult to figure out because it looked like you know, it looked like this it was part of this nation just because it had the same color. So that's kind of unfortunate. I don't think we can actually take any lands in that case. Uh, which is, yeah, making things slightly more difficult. But alright. Um, that's still okay. Because, oh well, we took this quickly. Um, let's go here then. And, yeah, I mean, okay, fine. I just kind of need to decide what I do now. That probably means... Well, how many pops do we have? We have four pops. Three. Three. So, we could move pops here. And that could... We could move a couple of slaves. We have nine pops here. We only need to move... Well, five, really. Maybe move the slaves. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to do, actually. To... Skotra. So now you have got... You'll have 10 pops as soon as this one grows. And then we get to colonize. It's actually going to be cool as well, I think. And then we can annex... Yeah, whatever... Whatever provinces you have here. White peace is imminent. Nah, I think that's not gonna happen. Alright, you attack. Still haven't heard any news from Macedon. Just really hoping that would go faster. Okay, we'll besiege this first, then we'll be taking whatever army we need to destroy here. Okay, well, never mind. It's not necessary. Okay. Salinate fell. We'll be taking this as well, and well, I guess we... No, we can't move there. We don't have military axes. Fine. Then we'll just take these lands, and have you grown? September. Next year. You know, that might be a bit too long. Let's just move one more pop. There you go. So, now I should be able to colonize. Oh my god. Now we have a disloyal province we can't colonize. Okay, so this is a big issue because... Uh, the game doesn't tell you all the requirements necessary to do a certain action. Uh, that's kind of frustrating at this point, but alright, fine. Um, so I spent all this... All these points for nothing, really. I guess that means we can't take these lands at all. We can only make you become a tributary tribal vassal. I guess that's all that's that we can do. A bit frustrating. I was definitely hoping for more. Okay, well, I'm, I think I'm just going to end the episode here. And I'll mm, think about what we'll do. We actually have a lot of manpower. Close to 100,000. And I think uh, once we have 100,000, I'm just going to try and uh, and go for Macedon there. I think uh, even if they, the percentage never rises up, still it does... Yeah, I, th I think we can't wait forever. I mean, this guy is going to die at some point, right? I mean, he's 62. So, actually, I mean, his loyalty is at zero. I don't know how, how much longer he wants to wait. I think he should just declare war, really. Mm, but yeah, anyways, I think we're going to go to war with Macedon next episode. Uh, kind of figure out what we do with these guys beforehand. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be taking a lot more lands. But yeah, for now, that was it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.